Hey everybody, coming to you live from the workshop today, TGIF. As you can see, I've got a bunch of baits in front of me. There's three others on the other side the camera can't see. Um, this is a 1.5 square bill blank. It's from Predator Bass Baits. It's a really, really good uh, blank. And today, one of the many blanks that we're going to be painting, this is going to be a smallmouth bass. So, as you can see on some of these up here, started with a translucent white pearlized underbelly, and then almost a bone bronzish color on the top and sides. And what we're going to kind of do is trim in some of the detail now. This is the fun part. This is all hand painted at Jekyll Bait, so we could do stencils. I've got tons of stencils stencils like this but for today's purposes because smallmouth and largemouth bass have a very randomized pattern on their sides um, we're going to do some hand painting and we're just going to cut in a little bit of detail just like that so if you, uh, if you notice, their faces have a little bit of masking on the sides of them. And we're going to start with that. When we come down the back, it's also a randomized pattern. And we like to paint just a little bit in the tops and then they usually have some longer streaking on the sides and the color that I'm using today is a bronze burnt umber and I've mixed in some pearlized gold I've also thrown in a little bit of reducer, just a, a hint of orange. So when we're done, these sides are going to look just like a small mouth. You want to be real steady with your hands. Kind of get that random pattern in there. Then you can come back on the top and do the same thing. Um, the difference between a large mouth small mouth. Small mouth are called bronze backs. And the patterning is a lot more pronounced on a small mouth. Now you wouldn't see it under normal conditions when the fish is swimming underwater, but when they become stressed or they get aggressive and they start to feed, you will see this very prominent pattern that we're kind of laying in. it's going to look just like this. Now after we're done, and I've got six of these to do so I'm not going to have the camera run the entire time, but after we're done on this, I'm going to dust this with a little bit of gold orange and that's going to finish it. The eyes on this fish is going to be red, so we're going to bring it back when we start doing the dusting on these. I've got six to do, so sit tight. We'll be right back. all about just adding the right kind of detail yeah 
this. This takes a little bit more time this way. But we want it to look good. We want it to be right. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but on this particular paint, there is a lot of sheen and glitter to it. When this gets coated and epoxy, it is gonna look sharp. It's gonna look real sharp, y'all. You just want that randomized pattern in here. You think that there's some that's a little bit light and go ahead and hit that again and this is a this is a, an, a round detail brush it's nylon hair good for acrylic water any water-based paint go back and just touch up what might be a little bit light We've got one more side to do. We've got five done. We've got one to go, so we'll be back. Now we've jumped ahead a little bit here. We just finished painting. We sprayed this. And now you can see that green, olive green on the top fading down, and the gold on the sides. And that is just about done. We're going to do the eyes. Maybe put a little bit of flake on it, but it's got lots of iridescence in it as it is. There you have your young bronze back. productive day today here at Jekyll Bates. We're almost ready to start epoxy, which I'm probably going to do tonight because tomorrow I am going fishing. Alright, so as you can see, We've done quite a bit of work today. We got some good stuff cooking up. Look at how these small mouths turned out. Isn't that awesome? Very excited about that. We got some dying shad wiggle warts. We got some very natural looking poppers back there. Some lipless. These 1.5s. Very happy with how everything turned out. Cheers y'all, TGIF. First clear coat's on, the epoxy's even, there's your smalling. 